you can build an amazing car, but you got to still be able to have a good spotter tell you where you're driving and tell you kind of how you're driving and kind of where you need to go next or what needs to be done or where you can pull some either more grip or less grip or what you yeah, should do. Or a, a car I, setup. I've noticed. Yeah. I've, I've, I've personally experienced, um, not having a spotter in a competition type setup or se- like setting, um, not having a spotter can uh, can make or break runs because, you know, I, I'm not a real competitive person. I, I do it for the fun. I do it to go out there with my buddies and, you know, you know, get close and, you know, burn some tires, go through your frustrations. You know, everybody works yeah. really hard to do what we do. And, you know, that that kind of the byproduct of that is, is, is a seriously, seriously stressful life outside of, you know, you know, the, the couple days that you get to go thrash on your car, but not having a spotter at a a competition, um, I ended up just assuming, you know, Jay Z S 13, you know, Oh, that's going to be a really fast car. Um, but I ended up almost running them over throughout the entire follow. Like I couldn't even be on throttle, but if I had known that I could have just pumped the tires up like crazy, but you know, I, I was like, Oh cool. And just, you know, obviously my lead lap was great, but my follow lap was garbage. And, and, and I ended up taking myself out because I didn't have someone saying, Hey, listen, this car is super like slow on transitions like as they transition they say it just slows down like crazy and then as he exits that corner it just doesn't accelerate like most of the other cars and by not knowing that i i straightened like three times in one run yeah just trying to you know like if i'd had if i had had a spotter i would have been in good shape because oh man you gotta you know pump the tires up like crazy, take some grip out of the car so that you can, you know, just kind of skate behind him. But, you know, that's what yeah, you get. That's, that's not having a team. You live, Yeah, you live and you learn. Um, so uh, we, we t- kind of talked about your S13, or, sorry, your S13, your SC300. And um, can you tell me more about the car? I mean, it's a... Uh, uh, SC 300 and you got that what mint color and with that livery. And, yep. Um, yeah. So it, it, the, it's actually a Nissan color. So it is, it is the 1990 Sylvia two-tone seafoam green. I uh, actually, it is FG zero. <laughs> I actually have a, a touch up hand. Um, but uh, so that, you know, that's, that's the like, the S13 color, right? I mean, like, that's 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 what the car came as, you know? Like, that's... My car, originally, it was the culmination of two cars. So, yeah. um, Patrick built a car. Uh, it was a dark green, which is the, obviously the base car. It's a, it's a 92 original 5-speed dark green. And um, he uh, had the front-end wash out on him and, and pop... Pop... Uh, a barrier up at Killcare, I think. So kind of like what happened to me, the car that had the body kit on it came up as a roller. He bought the roller, put the kit on his car, fixed the crunched panels, and, you know, went back at it with a wide body, you know, big wheel, you know, hot boy setup. Well, yep. after I got it, I, I kind of was like, man, I'm going to make this car like a, a street car that's, you know, or like a race car that's very streetable and that kind of, that's all gone now, but um, as the car sits now, um, the we'll start with the engine. It's a uh, 1.5J. It's a built non-VVTI 1J head, uh, BC 264 cams, springs, retainers. It does have OEM valves, uh, three-angle valve job. Um, the head was milled a little bit, and then um, the bottom end is a kind of a last minute oh shit kind of put together bottom end that's just been a a hammer um it was the original engine out of my other street lexus that had 245,000 miles on it jesus Um, (laughs) so three liter na2j block 
Uh, it has turbo pistons in it, new rings. Uh, we gap those to like what all the big horsepower cars uh, gap their rings at. Um, ARP rod bolts on the factory rods, uh, ACL race bearings, and uh, dingleberry hone. Like in the in the shop, like in the middle of the night, <laughs> throw it together, trying to get it ready for uh, grid life. Like Midwest, like two two or three two two years ago, th- three years ago now. And so I put it all together. Um, at the time, it did have a sixty two sixty two on it, uh, precision billet journal bearing turbo and that that was that was a good turbo um it lit pretty hard for what it was um now it has a garrett gtx 3584 rs which i'll have to say is it it is the jam that is that is a hell of a turbo it actually spools 500 rpms faster than the 6262 precision holy cow um yeah it's i i I, uh, I I work with uh, Tile. I've I've used Tile stuff for a really long time now. Uh, again, one of those things that you know, once you find a product that you know works, you just kind of stick with it. And I've used them for like I'm gonna date myself. Two thousand and six. Yeah, because I know the first year that I bought Tile stuff. 